The Yeni Kent Sighting In 2008, a guard from Yeni Kent recorded a series of lights and an apparent alien aircraft in disguise for four months. His videos have been called one of the best known UFO footage out there and has been yet to be proven a hoax. Some theorists, due to this evidence, believe that alien life forms could actually be just out of eyes view, monitoring us from afar. All right, Shalom. This is Har One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Kal Halayim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Chai Bahashim Harakakudash Ma'amah. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders, and Shalom to you, Akim and Aguadim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. This is Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. All right, and the secret place um, is the scriptures. All right, um, those that, uh, that are occupied in prophecy and that dwell um, in the temple in the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. <clears throat> shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, meaning always, always, uh, that person will always be under the protection and covering of Yahweh. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and Him will I trust. All right. And the scriptures say, um, let me get this real quick. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Right? So, and uh, uh, we're going to run into it, meaning, uh, you know, all hell breaks loose upon, breaks loose upon this earth. The righteous have a place to go to. All right. Spiritually. All right, it says, um, verse 2, Psalms 91 and 2. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust, right? Because the hopeful elect are going to call on the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and they're going to trust in his promise, all right, the promise of salvation and deliverance by the, uh, in the chariots. Um, verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. And that the fowler is Esau, and the snare is the trap that's set for uh, for the children of Israel. All right. And the Lord is going to deliver uh, his hopeful elect, uh, well, his elect from that uh, trap, which is martial law, the, the RFID chip, plagues, civil war. All right, um, invading one another in the houses, uh, the nuclear war, right? Imprisonment. So let's say he's gonna protect uh, from all these things. Uh, you know, at some point he's gonna start intervening. He's protecting us now. So it says, uh, and from the noise and pestilence, that's the missiles. The missiles. He shall cover thee with his with his feather, uh, feathers he shall co cover thee with, with his feathers and under his wings sh shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler alright so he shall cover thee with his feathers meaning he gonna cover you with his that's his shadow that's his, his uh, holy angels the chariots alright and keep you covered and protected same way they cover each other, they protect each other. And under his wings shalt thou trust. All right. So, and um, we're going to trust in the wings and the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Because that's what the Lord, um, when Yahweh sends Yahweh Shai, he's going to send his angels out to do the gathering. All right. And we're going to trust in his chariots and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Um, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So that's what's going to be our defense. 
in that day, this word, and our faith and our confidence. Uh, verse 5, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror um, by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. And that's talking about the missiles, you know, and martial law. And uh, so from the bottom of, from the, um, I'm going to keep going, verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. All right, so you got the plagues, you got civil war breaking out, all the invading one another, everything that goes bump in the night, they say. Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. So from the beginning of Jacob's trouble all the way up to the climax of the, of the World War Three, which is going to be missiles. All right, ICBM missiles, nuclear war, uh, that's going to be the judgment of the Most High, Yahweh. That's the judgment that he's written out to happen. And the angels are going to bring, bring it to pass. All right. Through the Most High's command, through Yahweh Shai's command. Um, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And so that's when uh, we get delivered into them chariots. And it starts in the midst of Jacob's trouble. You're going to see people dying, but it's not going to come to you. And the Lord said you're going to make a man as a hiding place in that day. So if you're in this truth, the Lord going to protect you. All right? If you're sincere. Um, and even if you get martyred, the Lord will bring you back with him. All right? So a thousand people, thousands of people, there's going to be thousands of people dead, man. And scriptures say the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right? There's going to be few, few that shall be saved, man, and protected. Verse 8. Well, verse 7. But it shall not come nigh to thee. So the fire is not going to touch you. In, uh, in, in any sense, the adversity, affliction. All right. Good. Uh, the, the Lord can keep you and protect you in the time of the temptation, which is the RFID chip. And at some point, he's going to lift up a standard uh, for his hopeful elect. Um, verse 8 only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made Yahweh which is my refuge even the most high the habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling see look at the plagues right? and the evils just letting you know for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. So that's what's going to do the reaping. The angels are going to be sent out to gather the hopeful elect and take them up into the air all right, in the chariots. And that's who's watching from a distance. Now, I don't know if that picture was, that picture was um, legit, but... Um, it's just a, what that, uh, what would it be called, reporter or something? What he was speaking on, a blogger. But he was speaking on about the chariot, saying they, they watch it from a distance, you know? And they just monitoring everything. And that's scriptural because the angels, and they don't have to watch from a distance. They could be in a different, uh, in a different dimension, be right in front of your face in the spirit room, right? or where your eyes can't see them. Uh, the scriptures say, "Be careful uh, to not to uh, to entertain angels, uh, strangers, because some have entertained angels un unaware. So the angels are encamped around them that fear the Lord. All right. Um. So the angels are are going to bear thee up, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. All right." This is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. So they are watching from a distance. They're watching from whatever angle, you know. Um, and they're watching the, the sinful kingdom. And Yahweh is watching too. Just like that picture floating around, showing them eyes in the sky around the uh, chariots. All right. 
And he got his men watching, the whole flood light. And Yahweh is watching. All right, so this decree saved the watches. You know, it says, Behold, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. So his angel, angels are monitoring everything. I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. So um, two thirds of our people are going to perish and what's coming, but the hopeful elect, the 144 and the one third, they're going to be protected from all the said perils and the, the plagues, the missiles, the martial law, you know, the, the um, invasion, home invasions, civil war. The Lord said you're going to be protected from all that. All right. And he's going to have his angels uh, gather you and watch over you and protect you. All right. This is Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. It's crazy, man. So the Lord going to destroy old and young in that day. You know? Um, verse 2, with the missiles. That's the, that's, the, that's the judgment that the Lord chose, fire. All right? But unto you that fear that fear my name, all right? So his name is going to be a strong tower, as Psalm 91 said. Unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as, as calves of the stalls, man. This is crazy. So we're going to be entering into our chair, in, into uh, Yahweh Ratazan, one of those hopeful elect, but um, the hopeful elect will enter into their chariots, um, you know, gathered into the barn, right? The wheat gathered into the barn, the rest going to be burned up. And the angels are the reapers that's going to do the gathering. Um, and the Lord's going to send them out, according to the book of Matthew. Or is it Luke? One of, the, one of the two, I might get it after this. Um, verse 3 and it goes along with Psalms 91 and ye shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this say if Yahweh of hosts this is Matthew 13 and 24 another parable put he forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field All right, but while but while men slept, um, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. All right, the field is the world, right? But when the blade was sprung up, brought forth fruit, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. All right, so, and that's twofold. Uh, in these times, you have what? Uh, the tares and the wheat, meaning, uh, confusion uh what you call speckled bird to where um you don't know who's who according to color and also um uh, the wicked mingling in amongst our people all right so that's why you have amos nine and eight where it talks about the sift or uh, you know uh nine and nine where it says uh the sift that you know the sift of the scriptures and that's why we uh examine ourselves and we try the spirit by the spirit. And that's why the angel is going to do the reaping. All right. To filter out who's who. And the Lord is going to set his sheep on his right hand and his goat and the goats, the wicked, on the left hand to be destroyed. All right. So, uh, so if you're cold or hot, if you're lukewarm, he's going to push you to the left and get the judgment of the wicked. Verse 27. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. 
All right. So it says this, verse 30, let both grow together until the harvest. And the harvest is uh, coming up <coughs> when the Lord <coughs> when the Lord plans to uh, deliver his hopeful elect. All right. That's the harvest time when you when you get the first of your fruits. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them into bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. All right. So the, the wicked are going to be uh, uh, filtered out, you know, filtered out of the truth. And they're going to be gathered uh, among the among the wicked, the congregation of the dead, to be burned. All right, but the um, the wheat, which would be the hopeful elect, they're going to be gathered into the barns. All right, and this is the word for uh, tear. It says um, zizanian, 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 and it says um, a dar a darnel or false grain. So. False prophets, false um, uh, Israelites, you know, you could look like an Israelite, be dark skinned, but you'd be an Edom, Edomite or a heathen. You know, um, scriptures say, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. So, um, you know, these, uh, if you were a heathen, then that person is going to still get punished. And if uh, a person, um, is wicked, though they call them, though they are Israelites, or don't know that they're Israelites, they're going to still perish, all right, without the law, or, or however, being Gentiles. So, you know, it's a lot in the scripture right here, man. So, just false, falsehood in general, man. A kind of darnel resembling wheat, except the grains are black. All right, and if you look at wheat and tares, they grow up the same, but then when they get to their biggest uh, uh, growth, they they look different. All right, you can see the difference. This is Matthew thirteen and thirty-seven. He that answered, uh, he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the, is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked, period. I have you look at it, you know, through color or just through their spirit, through their actions. All right. The, the enemy that sowed them is the devil and the harvest, the, the deceiver. The harvest is the end of the world. All right. And the reapers are the angels. <laughs> so the angels are going to do the gathering, the reaping. Um, as and they're gonna separate just like they separated Elijah from um, uh, uh, Elisha, Elisha, you know. But it's, you know, it's not nothing bad against Elisha, but it's saying they they have that power to separate people, you know, and, and to individualize certain people and snatch people up and to transport you like they did Philip, tele teleport you. All right. And it says, um, and therefore the tares are gathered, verse 40, and as therefore the tares are gathered and burned into the burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do it iniquity. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. You know? So. All right. Um, Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun. And in the moon, like I think this week you had a black moon or something crazy like that, man. The earthquakes about to happen. All right, you see, you got the black moon on the rise. They say double trouble, quake, 
quick watch, and that's from 13 hours ago. Black Super Moon is coming on Wednesday. All right, so they got signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars, all right? And the uh, and upon the earth, the stress of nations. You got all the riots going on over there in Tokyo and Japan and Syria and over here in America. With perplexity, it's the sea and the waves roaring. I just did a lesson on that the other day of how the sea and the waves you know, just uh, soon, basically talking about tsunamis, you know, and chaos upon the earth. Verse 26. Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. But the scriptures say the elect are going to laugh at destruction. And knowledge and wisdom is going to keep you stable in that day. All right. But the um, the wicked, they're going, their hearts are going to be failing them in fear. It says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So he's going to have his own chariot. All right. Um, and it says, uh, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your, your redemption draweth nigh. So these are the things we're supposed to look for. So when all hell breaks loose, that's what we're going to trust in, that the Lord has his angels at a distance among you, you know, in the spirit realm and watching over you and protecting you and monitoring this wicked kingdom and they're going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. 